Welcome to the forms part of the, of the video. Tai Chi is, is put together into different sets, such as the 16 set or the 40 set or the 108 yang uh, long form set. But each of the moves inside of the set is called a form. And each form is an entity onto itself. So to teach this properly so that you can really understand it and complete your sets correctly, we're gonna go through each single form from four different perspectives. We're gonna go from footwork to what's happening with the hands, to the breath work, which is extremely important in every single form, and also the energy aspect. When you put all those together with the fundamentals and the applications, we're pretty sure that you're gonna have a really good foundation for a Tai Chi practice. So enjoy. Form two, wild horse partitions its mane. We finished right. commencing the form. So the strike is coming in, we block it. Pull the right hand up. It's almost like you're holding a big ball on your right center of alignment here. Okay, so boom. Here's your empty step. The hand work. The left hand travels right up the right forearm. Past, the two Logong points past each other. Afterwards, after when you're uh, more mature in your practice and you can start feeling chi, this is a really good time. Sometimes you can feel the energy coming over here. And what you want to do here is you're throwing somebody over this extended leg and this hand is coming down into like a, almost like a block position. This here, the Logong point, is facing third eye or temple. And you're in this position. Wild horse partitions its mane. Wild horse partitions. Fourth form its mane. is brush knee, brush knee twist up. Demonstration. Compart the white screen, spread its wings. The handwork. You're in this position. It's almost as if someone has come up and grabbed you by the lapels. This hand here, the upper hand, left center of alignment. Half step. And as we center. shift our weight over to the left side of alignment, the left hand is high, right hand is low. When you come into this stance here, or out, just before we move into it on the ball of the back foot, get your center of alignment, empty step out, but foot goes on at that 45 degree angle, so that you're into your The very first thing that we do in repulse monkey is sink into the, the right quad. Next form is grass the sparrow's tail. We've just finished wave hands like clouds. We're holding the ball on our left center of alignment here. And this is actually way, um, grass the sparrow's tail right. So from here, it's an empty step. That we do it in the form. Join, neutralize, turn it over, strike. Again, we're in a cat stance. We can always kick or change our. So you're putting all your weight onto this left center of alignment. Then all it is is a empty step with the right leg. Remember, empty step. You can always change your position. So it's empty. Stationary elbows. And the hands are flowing. The strike is coming in on a 45 degree angle here. And what you need to do is make sure it doesn't hit you. Strikes coming in, you want to cover so that the strike's coming this way and you join it and you let it go right past your shoulder. Boom. Okay. Tai Chi, there's never any double weightedness. You never try to forward. stop a strike. All you that shift forward, remember you're underneath the opponent's arm now and you come up. What's happening is that you're putting, with that shift forward, you're putting the opponent into an urgent position. The hands just don't float up and down. And then commencing the forms on the way up. They form a bit of an arc. I'm gonna...